Hi, today I'm talking about leak code problem 1404, number of steps to reduce a number in binary representation to one. What this problem asks you to do is write a function that takes a number s in binary representation and returns the number of steps to reduce it to one, where the steps are, if the number is even, you must divide it by two, and if it's odd, you have to add one to it. And the problem guarantees that you'll always be able to reduce a number to one by following these rules. It's actually pretty easy to see how that's plausible. Add one, then divide by two. Obviously, divide by two is a lot bigger, a lot more significant. So that'll bring you your number down smaller and smaller until it's eventually one. Um, and they give you a few examples. Their constraints are that the length of s is between 1 and 500, um, and that it begins with a 1, um, most importantly. And s is going to be a string consisting of only the characters 0 and 1. So before I discuss my approach to solve it, I guess I'll just say one thing I think you need to know um, in order to solve this problem is just how to convert between binary to decimal, how to convert between a string of 1s and zeros and the decimal number. And so like that basic idea is you take the value in what I'd call the ith place, starting at the right hand or the least significant digit. And you take the value there, so in this case one, and you multiply it by two to the power of the the place that you're at so if we imagine this zero indexing from the right hand side so this index would be zero one two three and so on s sub i would be the value at the ith index so s sub zero would be one and we multiply it by two to the i so in this case i is zero so two power zero is one so it's one um, and adding these together will convert a binary number to decimal. So again, if we have one, one, zero, one, this is the zeroth value. So S sub I um, times two to the I is one. So we get one plus when we do the first value, we know this is zero, so zero times anything is going to be zero. We do it again for the second value. Um, so it's one times one times two squared. So two squared is four. So that's four. Um, yeah, um, that's four. I lost my, my track there. And then finally we do one times two to the third or eight, so that should be eight. So this is nine um, plus four is 13. So let's just double check that 1101 is equal to 13, binary to decimal. Um, probably should have done this in advance. 1101 is in fact 13. So that basic idea is how you convert um, binary to decimal. And I'm going to be using that same logic in my function here. Basically, I have two parts to my solution. One, I just convert the binary input string to its decimal representation, and that happens in binary to num function. And the second part is I solve it by applying the algorithm given to me in the problem. That is when the number's even, divide by two. When it's odd, add one. So binary to num works um, exactly like I was showing you on the whiteboard. We start with a total of zero. In lin, so the length of our string, we're just going to store that here. And then I'm going to enumerate, so I will get the index and val will get the, or sorry, I will get yeah, the index or the, the position I am in the list, zero through the length of the list. 
um, or the length of the string, I should say, and val gets the value of the current position or of the ith position. And so then I just calculate index. This is going to work, so I'm um, reversing over the string. So it starts at in len less one plus i. Um, and the total is just going to accumulate. We're going to parse the val uh, or the value at the ith position into an int and then multiply it by two to the power of the index. And so this is a way of implementing the algorithm that I was describing here on the whiteboard to just convert a string of um, binary digits to their decimal representation. And so once we have the decimal representation, we supply that to this function, the solve function, which just um, iteratively applies the algorithm. So it says count, we're counting the number of steps. While our number is not one, the first thing we're going to do is increment our count. There's some other step that we're taking. Here we check if the number is even, that is if it's evenly divisible by two. Well, if it is, then we're just going to do the integer division of two on num. And if it's not, we're going to increment num. And eventually we will reach, um, as guaranteed by the instructions, we will reach one and then we can just return count. So pretty straightforward solution. I think once you know how to do binary to decimal, then you can solve this easily enough. I attempted a few different versions of this to try to find something that was faster. Uh, the version I've just walked you through, I think is, is the fastest and it's reasonably clean and easy to understand. I also tried a recursive solution which wound up just being a bit slower, and that just recursively applied the same um, rules that I had discussed to you, uh, discussed with you. Um, and then I also tried what I thought would be a much faster solution that wound up being about the same in terms of speed. And this solution, what I did is I didn't convert it from binary to decimal at all. So rather instead, what I did is, um, you know a binary number is even uh, if it ends in zero, then it's divisible by two. And so what I did is I just said, I, I divided my um, input string into a list of the individual values of the string or the individual characters of the string. And I mapped those values into the int function. So this converts them from characters to integers, and this, the list function, separates them from a string into, um, yeah, a list. So each individual character is a member of this list. And what I did is I said, okay, well, the length of my list is greater than one. Um, what I'm going to do is increment my count. I'm going to get the last value of the list. If it's zero, I'm just going to pop it off. So popping off the last value of the list would be equivalent to dividing it by two in binary, a binary number divided by two. If, it's, if it can be evenly divided, that is if the number's even, um, then dividing by two is just like popping off the zero. So that's analogous to in base 10, um, a, a number that's evenly divided by 10, you just pop off the zero as well. So in base two or base 10, this looks the same. Um, yeah, so if it's not even, then what I'm going to do is just handle incrementing um, the number or my number list. And for incrementing the list, what I do is I just start at the end. I increase the final value by one while any of the value or while the value that I'm currently at is greater than one, I'll set it to zero. Um, and then I will decrement the index. Um, if the index is greater than zero, so we're still in the list, or sorry, if the index is less than zero, so we've, we've moved back all the way um, before the start of the list, that would be in like the case where I had one, 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 tried to increment the last digit. So it would roll over, it would carry one over, that would roll over, carry one over, that would roll over. I'd try to carry one over here, and so then I'm just going to insert a one at the beginning of the list. Um, and you can see that's what I do here. 
Um, yeah, and otherwise, if I haven't increased, if I haven't um, gone greater than one, then I just uh, increment by one or set the value to one. Um, yeah, so that's a solution I thought would be significantly faster uh, because I'm not doing um, I'm not doing the string to binary operation. So there are lots of string comparisons I'm not doing. Um, and yeah, I'm not actually doing any math. I'm just, I guess in the increment operation, I'm doing a little math. Um, but yeah, it wound up not being that fast. But it's an alternate, those are a couple alternate solutions as well. So if you enjoyed this video, let me know by clicking the like button. I'm going to try to solve a leak code problem a day. If there's anything you want to see in particular, uh, feel free to leave a comment or just leave a comment to let me know you're watching. If you want to see the leak code problems, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for your time.